Hey friends, Ash here with Gent Scents. Today I'm coming at you guys with five cheap fragrances that smell like more expensive fragrances. So these are fragrances that you can pick up that smell like a more expensive niche or indie fragrance. These aren't cheap fragrances that just smell like they should cost more than what they do. These are ones that have similarities to something that's much more expensive than the fragrance we're talking about. Most of these are gonna be in the $40 range. Well, 30 to 50-ish. So 40 is just kind of a median there. One of these is a little more expensive in the $80 range at discounters, but there is an alternative to that one as well that you can pick up really cheap. And the fragrances that these smell like are all over 180 bucks retail. So any one of these is gonna get you a similar vibe for a much lower price. We've got a lot to talk about guys, so let's just jump right into this. Also, need to let you guys know that when I say that these are cheaper versions than another fragrance or, you know, a cheaper fragrance that's gonna get you a similar vibe, a similar scent profile as a more expensive fragrance, I'm pricing these out at discounters. So if you buy these at retail, they might not be as good of a deal. Some of these are gonna be more expensive at retail than others. Some of these you can pick up at retail for a low price, but just throwing that out there, I'm basing this off of discounters. The first fragrance I wanna talk about is one that has been talked about in the fragrance community a whole lot. I'm not the first one that's brought this up. I'm not gonna be the last one that brings this fragrance up. It has very high quality for the price and it is a car manufacturer fragrance. <laughs> it is this one, Bentley for Men Intense. This is one of the poster children or possibly the poster child of high quality car manufacturer fragrances. Nowadays, Bentley fragrances are actually handled by Lalique. So right here is Bentley from an absolute. And if you look on the bottom, it will say Lalique Beauty. This one says art and fragrance services, but I believe that Bentley fragrances are handled by Lalique nowadays. Lalique, of course, most popular or most well-known rather fragrance-wise for the Ancre Noir line of fragrances, which is a fantastic line of fragrances for the price that you pay. Don't want to get off topic too much here, so back onto this one, Bentley for Men Intense. This one has a strong similarity to two niche fragrances. This one, Idole de Luban by Luban, and this one, Chambre Noir by Olfactive Studio. It's a little bit closer to Idole de Luban, but it's similar to both of these. And between these two fragrances, I mean, I love both of them, Chambre Noir and the Luban, but I think this one is a little bit better. And this one, Idole de Luban, came in an Eau de Toilette and an Eau de Parfum. This is the Eau de Parfum. The Eau de Toilette is now discontinued, so if you buy this fragrance new, it's gonna come like this. And at retail, this one, Idole de Luban, is $180. Apologies for the terrible French. Chambre Noir is $195. And that's for a 100 milliliter size bottle, each one of those. The Bentley, you can pick up at discounters in the $30 range. So there's a market difference price-wise between the two of about 150 bucks to $165. As I said before, lots of other YouTubers, lots of people on Fragrantica, Base Notes, wherever you read reviews for fragrances or watch reviews for fragrances has talked about Bentley for Men Intense and most people agree the quality here is much, much higher than what you would expect for the price point. It has rum, incense, woods, leather, benzoin, and spices in here. It's a very masculine fragrance. If you're really more used to super versatile, easy to wear men's fragrances, stuff like Bleu de Chanel, Aqua de Jo, uh, Dior Sauvage, Yves Saint Laurent Y, you know, the usual suspects, the most popular men's fragrances out there. If you're used to that type of fragrance and that's all you've ever worn, this one, may end up being a little bit too much for you at first spray because this is, as I said, very masculine. It's in your face, it's strong, it's powerful. It's a cold weather fragrance, uh, especially well suited for cold nights. 
and it's one that you can easily dress up as well, assuming that you can wear that fragrance with confidence. It shares a lot of notes with the Dolda Luban and Chambre Noir, which you would expect because it is giving off an extremely similar vibe here, which is what the whole video is about. So I guess if it didn't, then I would be making a terrible video right now. And just really quickly before we move on, this one, Bentley from In Absolute. I've talked about this a couple of times on the channel here recently, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but this is a pretty good alternative to Gucci Porome one, the discontinued Gucci Pour Homme that commands a very high price tag nowadays. So you could really include this as well. So this is just sort of a bonus. Bentley from In Absolute, good alternative to Gucci Pour Homme one, which is over my shoulder. That's why I point it back there. Up next is a fragrance that I don't own right now, but I have smelled it. This one is by Swiss Arabian. The name of the fragrance is Shagoff Oud Abyad. And there's no way I pronounced that correctly, but you can see here somewhere the way that it's written. <laughs> That's the fragrance I'm talking about. The original Shagoff Oud I did a review on and it's in a gold bottle. That one is a reinterpretation, a clone, whatever you want to call it, of uh, Oud Bouquet by Lancome. This one, which comes in a white bottle, is a reinterpretation or a clone, however you want to put it, of this. Interlude Man by Amouage. Interlude goes for $300 retail for a 100 milliliter size bottle, this size right here. You can find that on discounters typically, though when I checked uh, before I did this video, it was only available on Fragrance X that I saw, and the price was like $260 or something, much higher than I've typically seen it. Uh, usually you can find it for a bit less than that, but it's what it was as of me filming. The Swiss Arabian though, you can pick that up for about 34 bucks. So huge difference in price. The Swiss Arabian fragrance has smoke, oud, apopinex, and myrrh as some of the notes in the fragrance. And that tells you right away what kind of scent it is. This is winter time. This is cold weather. You do not want to wear this in high heat. Now the Swiss Arabian is not as high quality as the Amouage. Uh, there's a definite difference there, but it does give you a very similar scent profile. It's got good performance, and the price is about 10% of what the Amouage is. This is another one that is not very well suited if you're a beginner. If you're not prepared for a powerfully strong incense fragrance, you may want to keep looking. And on top of that smoky incense and all the resins in here, there's oud as well. So, as I said, not really a beginner's fragrance and uh, not super versatile either, but the smell is fantastic. This is one that if you don't come back to it for a while, you know, you kind of forget how it smells and then you pick it up and give it another whiff, you'll just be like, wow, <laughs> that's why it gets hyped. That is fantastic, just great quality. And if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, check out the Swiss Arabian. Next up, two fragrances. Either one of these could be a good alternative for the fragrance in question. So the two alternative fragrances are this one, Michael Jordan Legend, and you probably already know what fragrance we're talking about if you're really into fragrances. This one is the other alternative, Rojas Man, and yeah, the bottle's different. You can actually apparently take this bottle off, turn it upside down, and really press it in there and make this into like a stand for the bottle. It doesn't work well. It does not work well. Don't do that. I was about to say right before it fell that it doesn't really work very well. Uh, and then it fell for me. So thanks bottle. But I've seen people do that before and go like, haha, look at this. I made a stand. And these are a good alternative to bond number nine, New Harlem, which I do own, but I forgot to get out for the video. So one second and I'm back with New Harlem. Interestingly enough, apparently New Harlem has been discontinued, even though this is one of the more well-received, more well-liked fragrances that Bond Number no. 9 has. This is one of the few Bond Number no. 9 fragrances that most people can agree on that they like. Bond Number no. 9 is a fragrance house that doesn't get a huge amount of love from the fragrance community. A lot of people write it off as kind of a, a second tier niche house, but New Harlem, it's one of their better releases, and they apparently got rid of it. So in case you're unaware, New Harlem often gets compared to a pancake breakfast, syrup, pancakes, coffee, basically. 
a gourmand type of scent, syrupy sweet. Jordan Legend shares the coffee note. It also has amber and lavender in here. And then Rojas Man, instead of having a coffee note, has a cappuccino note, so close enough. It also has vanilla and lavender and raspberry just to switch it up a little bit. The main notes from New Harlem that carry over to these fragrances is going to be the lavender, the vanilla, and the coffee. And while Legend does not technically have vanilla, it does have amber, and it can give off a bit of a vanilla kind of vibe. Both of these fragrances have been talked about at length in the fragrance community, uh, maybe more so in the past, not as much nowadays, but these are both solid cheapies. Legend, you can pick up around 15 bucks for a 100 milliliter size, and Rojas for a 50 mil size, I believe is in the $23, $24 range. Now, the presentation on Legend is cheap looking. It just is. It looks like a $15 fragrance. Rojas Man has a little bit of a better presentation, but like I said, it's unique. Both of these are gonna give you a sweet coffee vibe with a little bit of clean lavender in there as well. They're gonna be good, cool weather fragrances. You could potentially wear them in spring if you wanted though. Maybe not the best for summer. And actually now that I'm looking here, none of these are really good for summer. Apologies for that, but <laughs> there we go. Jordan Legend, Rojas Man, looks a little bit like a flashlight. Looks like you could hit somebody with it. These are your alternatives. Bond number nine, New Harlem. And the price for New Harlem, whatever people ask for it at this point. Discontinued, it's not on Bond number nine's website. It's not at any of the major discounters that I checked before this video. I mean, they may get some more, uh, in stock down the line, never know, but who knows price-wise. Kind of up in the air at the moment. Next up is an alternative again, that I don't own, but I've smelled it multiple times. And this one is very easy for you to get your nose on. It's Velvet Teddy by MAC, which is actually a makeup brand, I believe. Ladies are gonna be a little more familiar with MAC than I am. Like I said, this one, very easy to get your nose on. Where I live, it's actually at my local Belk, so I've smelled it there multiple times. Uh, any of your major department stores, Belk, Macy's, stuff like that, maybe even Sephora, you can find this fragrance. It's in the MAC section, typically, so it's going to be there with lipstick and other stuff like that. At least where I live, that's where it's at. Velvet Teddy smells very similar to this one, Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. So Velvet Teddy VT Tobacco Vanille TV. Illuminati confirmed. Honey, Tobacco Blossom, Tonka, and Musk, some of the notes in Velvet Teddy. It does have a strong similarity to Tobacco Vinny. As soon as you spray uh, Velvet Teddy on, you're gonna pick that up right away if you're familiar with how this one smells. Some people will say that Velvet Teddy is a little bit more feminine than Tobacco Vinny, but it is still, in my opinion, a unisex fragrance. Though if you go to Fragrantica.com, it does say it's for women. As I said, smelled it multiple times. I've worn it multiple times, actually, by going up and spraying some on myself and letting it dry down, you know, how we do at uh, department stores. Velvet Teddy is gonna run you $57 for 50 milliliters, and that's full retail. I haven't really seen this pop up at discounters, but it's only 57 bucks, so it's a lot less than this one, Tobacco Vanille. Tobacco Vanille, for this size bottle, 50 milliliters, it's gonna run you 240 bucks. It's a lot of money. You can find this at discounters, but it's not usually really heavily discounted. Can you save a little bit of money by buying this at a discounter? Talking about Tobacco Vanille? Yeah, you can, but not a huge amount typically. Maybe if you get lucky, you might find them price it really low and before they change it, you scoop up a bottle. That could happen, but typically at discounters, you're still gonna be looking in the $200 range. So Velvet Teddy, in my opinion, great alternative to Tobacco Vanille and one that you can easily check out at most of your major department stores across America and in malls across America. We're at the last fragrance. It is a tobacco fragrance, which is one of my favorite notes. And this is a fragrance that I've talked about a bunch on this channel. Once I show you this fragrance, you're gonna know possibly what the alternative is or what it is an alternative for, I should say. It's this one, Pure Havan by Mugler. Fragrance that this is a good alternative to is 
this one. Naxos by Zerzhov. Pure Havan is gonna run you about 80 bucks at discounters. Naxos is gonna run you $220 retail. That one, the Zerzhov, not super easy to find at discounters. It may occasionally pop up, but it's not one that you can count on being there. You can't really count on getting it for a great price at discounters either. Pure Havan is 80 bucks right now as of this video at discounters. Like I said at the beginning of the video, most of these fragrances fall between 30 and 50 bucks. Some are a lot less than 30, but with Pure Havan being 80, it's not really cheap. Not what I would consider cheap anyway. There is an alternative by Ray and Tradition. It's Insurrection 2 Wild. You can pick that up 20 bucks, sometimes less than 20 bucks. And that one smells quite similar to Pure Havan. So if you want a very inexpensive alternative to the Zerzhov, and you don't want to spend the money on Pure Havan, go with the Rayan Tradition. Obviously, there's a difference in quality. The Rayan Tradition is not going to smell as high quality as the Zerzhov, and in my opinion, the Rayan Tradition is not going to smell as high quality as the Mugler. Though you will have some people out there who are enormous fans of the Rayan Tradition who will say, no, it's just as good as the Mugler. I politely disagree, but I know there's some people out there that love their Insurrection Too Wild. In case you're unaware of this fragrance, Pure Havan, this is a sweet tobacco scent. Honey is one of the notes, vanilla, cacao, and of course, tobacco. In my opinion, extremely versatile, daytime or nighttime fragrance, fall time and winter time is the best time for Pure Havan. I've said this a bunch on the channel, but I've worn this to the office countless times. It's gotten me a lot of compliments. I do love Naxos, the Zerjoff, but a lot of times with more expensive fragrances, people end up getting them and then don't really wanna wear them a whole lot because they don't wanna run out because they've invested so much. And in situations like that, the Mugler or the Ray and Tradition could work very well. Or if you just like a sweet honeyed tobacco, the Mugler and the Rayan Tradition would work well. Mm, smells great though. The Zerzhov smells really nice. And that fragrance or fragrances, Pure Havan and Insurrection 2 Wild will wrap up this list. Hopefully I didn't talk your guys ears off too much. I know sometimes I have a habit of rambling on about this stuff, but there we go, a bunch of alternatives to more expensive niche fragrances. As always guys, thanks so much for all of your support. Let me know in the comments below which of these you think is the best alternative pairing. And thanks for all your support. I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.